Any questions? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just take obviously a good performance and a good second half performance? Do you think you would have won it had it not been for the sending off? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was pretty even. 11 against 11. I've not seen the incident. Um, I don't know whether he deserved red or not. But I think after he went down to 10, we were very uh, professional and composed and thorough in what we were trying to do. And I think um, sometimes it's difficult to play against 10 and it was difficult because you know what you're going to get from Everton. They, were, they put in a great effort to try and keep 0-0 or even win it for themselves. So it was never going to be easy for us. But I think the way we went about what was a great credit to the players. You were very patient, obviously missing the penalty. You didn't kept going, kept going, obviously quite late on. Did you ever think with the crowd behind them, Everton might hang on for the draw? No, they're always hoping you're going to make a chance. Whether you take it or not is another thing. But as I say, they, although they'd be happy, unhappy with the result, I think they'd be happy with the effort and what the players put into it for them. And we were delighted with our players the way they went about their work, so it's hypothetical whether we think we would have won or would have lost, because we, we'll never know. There's a situation with um, Stephen, as he came on and did well, I take it he probably won't be going away with England. I don't know. Um, <laughs> But it's another, uh, it's another step forward for Stephen coming on in the derby, and getting a few more minutes under his belt. So I think Stephen uh, heard his views yesterday, and I don't think there's anything I need to add regards that. But regards um, any reaction after the game, nothing whatsoever, other than happiness about the result. But he, he, obviously, what he said yesterday he didn't As I say, what, what Stephen said yesterday, he said yesterday. There's no need for me to add to it, is there? Going to the derby, went to Andy Carroll's company today. Any harm with it? No, no, Louise, any harm either. And what was more pleasing was, I think, the the reaction of Dirk Kite after missing the penalty. It didn't seem to affect him, which is sign of a strong character. Um, so, not for the three incidents there. Very positive uh, returns for the each of the three individuals. So, I think Andy was unlucky a couple of times before it with headers and stroked it away very nicely. How do you think Carolyn Suarez is shaping up as a partnership? This week or last week or a week before? So every week we get asked the same thing. We said when we signed the both of them, it was a great deal of bit of business for the club, and we don't see any any reason to to change that opinion. I don't think there's any need for us either to have a weekly bulletin about how they're progressing. So, as I say, they'll be delighted with him. The big one's working really, really hard in training and he's getting his reward on the pitch. Steve, Matt and Kelly had another good game. Do you think he might recall him in the squad this week? I think he's in under 21, does he know? Fabio's already said that he's picking a new placement. I don't know. We're two weeks off now, we don't need to pick any teams between now and 15th October, so if Fabio's got to pick a team, he'll pick whatever he wants to pick. But we're delighted with Martin and where his performances for us takes him. I don't know.